Hey everybody, this is your girl Tiffany coming to you with a, another video. This video is going to be about, it's like, I guess it's a tag going around or whatever, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people have been doing the um, top products or best products in 2013. Um, so I didn't do like an overall, like what I've seen on YouTube type of thing. I did things that I constantly use on a frequent basis. I used every day. If I ran out or every time I did my makeup, if I ran out of it, I ran right to the store to go back and get it again. Um, that's how I looked at it. Like I have to have at least these products in my collection. So, um, it's not a lot of them, so I think I did pretty good as far as um, product-wise. Oh, I forgot one thing. I just, like, sat down to take my makeup off, and I started looking around at things, and I'm like, oh, if I have, like, things that I make sure that I stock up on, like if I catch them on a sale, or this things that I just use every in every single makeup application. So, um... Because I always tell you guys my favorites, but I never tell you... I have never done, like, a yearly favorite video like things that I use all through the year so this should be fun so my first product is definitely going to be and this is not like rated like a 1 to 10 or whatever just randomly picking up the things in front of me um, this is the Bid and I Topaz powder um, I use this to set my under eye highlight of course I love this um, I was using the banana powder and what I was doing with the banana I was just lightly setting it and then like dusting away the extra so that it wouldn't give me that flashback but I found that no matter how much I put under my eye of this as long as it's blended and it's, it's just gorgeous in photography like it's just gorgeous I love this so I venture more towards this one because of my dark skin um, I love how this warms up my face it's definitely a must have for me so another thing that I really really love is my e.l.f. makeup wipes. I, every time e.l.f. has like a 50% off sale or a buy BOGO sale or basically a 50% off sale, I make sure that I stock up on these because this is a definitely must have in my, in my collection because I take my makeup off with these every day. I use one makeup wipe and I can get off all my face makeup, my lipstick my eye makeup my mascara everything with one wipe of these and then these only cost three dollars and i always stock up on them when they're 150 and you get 20 wipes in each package love this love 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 so i must always have these um, another must have is another e.l.f. thing. It's my e.l.f. makeup misting spray. This is another thing that every time they have their 50% off sale, I stock up on this. Um, so I always buy like four or five of them when they're 150 um, along with the makeup wipes. Um, I have these. I always have to have these because I set every single makeup application, whether it's just powder, I use this to set. And this is the best. And I do see the difference when I don't use this. So I always, like I've tried everything else, I'm not going to mention names, but I've tried other products and I always end up going right back to my makeup, my um, e.l.f. makeup mist and set. So I really, really love this. Another thing is a matte concealer and this is my matte concealer, Studio Finish Concealer in NW50. I love this one for my eyebrows. I was using, I, like I stated in another video because I was actually out of it, um, I was using the NYX um, concealer in a jar. And I was using Chestnut, I believe. So it's a good dupe if you can't afford the MAC Studio Finish. But um, I always find myself going back to this. I always, I don't know what it is about this particular concealer. Like, the NYX is a perfect dupe, but it's all, I always go back to my MAC Concealer. Like, this is the best for my eyebrows. I love this stuff. Like, and this is the only, that's the only way I use it. I don't put it under my eye for, like, risk of creasing or anything like that, but. I love this for my eyebrows. It's the best ever. So, um, and that's the Studio Finish Concealer NW50. Um, so the next product is actually a lip gloss, and this is by NYX. And this is one of the butter glosses, and this is in Tiramisu. Um, me and my friend over the summer, my sister, over the summer went to... Um, also for the first time and I had to have this I had actually ran out of it and I didn't realize how much I was grabbing it until I didn't have it anymore and I'm like reaching for it and I'm like where is my tiramisu like 
for real so I made sure that as soon as I went to the next kind of, um, area and also I made sure that I grabbed this and it was the very last one um, and actually I caught a deal because NYX was 40% off that day so I was got lucky but I love this it's like the perfect nude for like I love pairing this with like green eyeshadow um, a smoky eye black smoky eye this is just the perfect 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 pink soft pink for my skin tone like oh, I love it and it like it's like literally like butter on my lips love so this is definitely must have when I'm out of this one I will be going to get another one pause I drink too much coffee I'm sorry so um, another must have I have to include both of these because I've been used I use especially over the summer it's the LA Pro um, LA Pro LA Girl Pro Concealer HD Pro Concealer and the two colors I have I think all of the colors all of the darker colors and I have a couple of the lighter colors um, just for my kit but um, I have all of the darker colors and the ones that I have to put in my yearly favorites is dark cocoa and toast now I always talk, if you follow my channel you watch my videos um, you know that I always talk about how much I love toast and where I got the color selection from my girl African export hey boo um, so I fell in love with this I have backups of this I have to have this I better not ever run out of this because I use it every day like I use it to set under my eye like I put this on I put my foundation on and then I put this on under my eye I blend it out with my handy dandy sponge oh I have to include my sponge it's dirty you guys I have to clean it but I have like all my stuff sitting over here that I need to clean so um but I will show you guys even though it's disgusting but um my dogs are fighting but this is the sponge from Walgreens it's I think eight bucks I love this sponge I use it every day for my concealer under my eye I blend it because I always put concealer up here be up under here because I have like blemishes up under here and they look like when I put all my foundation on this stands out because I'm like flawless here and then I have like these like blemishes up under here the struggle so I always put my concealer up under here and that brings me back to this because I always use the dark cocoa for concealing my dark spots and then um, if you watched the previous video of mine um, I was using this over the summer I was mixing it with my Mac prep and prime um, and using it as an all-over foundation like a moisturizer or a type of BB cream type of thing and it gave me like a beautiful beautiful finish so I actually had to stock up on these because I ran through that first two really really fast because I was using it as a foundation um, and then like I said I always use this to cover up the dark spots and like dark marks on my face also so dark cocoa and toast are must-haves for me like in no other color like beautiful bronze none of those can do it for me I have to have toast and dark cocoa I shall and these um, are I got my I, all, these are on cherryculture.com and also ikhouse.com and I think another website I can't remember and like it's some people some lucky people are um, I lucked up and found these in their local beauty supply I haven't been that lucky so I have to order mine from ikhouse.com and when I do I always order I, I, always, I always wait until I'm able to order like five or five or four or whatever of them so that um i'll have them so i won't have to order like now i think i'm pretty good i won't have to order for a while um but i actually just opened this tube of toast because i just finished the other one another one but um yeah so these are 199 on the ikhouse.com website and they actually have a bundle deal now where you can get all of the shades for 31 dollars. so that's a really good deal if you add it all up just you know FYI if you guys need really good really good concealers for your kit because these concealers are really good they don't crease they stay they give you like a nice flawless matte finish I will compare those to the Mac um, not definitely definitely not select cover-up because I hate select cover-up um, select cover-up to me is like water um, but I will compare this to the Mac Pro Longwear concealer 
it's bomb so anyway on to my next product um have to include this in my yearly favorites and it's the elf three and rum mascara the tube looks like this this mascara is $3, and I can find this at my local Target. Um, one of my local Walgreens sells Elf now, so I can always find it there. Like I said, it costs $3. I don't order these like, like I do when the whole site goes on sale for Elf. I don't order like a bunch of these like I do with the wipe and the makeup misting set because I found that although it was $3, it does dry up very quickly. So I make sure that I only get like maybe one or two and... I just use that one until it dries up and then I just go back and get another one. But as good as it is for three bucks, um, I mean, it's really good. And then you're not supposed to keep mascara for that long anyway. So I think it's like as long as it lasts, like the time that it takes for like when you first open it until it dries out, it's like the perfect time for you to start throwing away mascara anyway. So I never buy a lot of mascara anyway so but yeah this is a definitely must have it has one of the silicone brushes with the little bulb on the end it's like perfect for getting your under eye your um, bottom lashes i really really love this it's a really good mascara for three bucks so then my next product is something that i use all year to contour with and that is the black radiance blackberry baked bronzer I tried using this as a blush, but I found that when I use it, and when I put it on my cheeks, it gives me like that dirty, dirty look. So I don't use it for that, but it is like perfect for a contour because you can't see that much of the shimmer. You see more of the blackberry in it than the gold shimmer in it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So love how it looks in the pan, but on the cheeks, no. Um, but as a contour, it's gorgeous for dark skinned women. So just hint hint if you're looking for a bronzer or a contour that you don't want to use like a black or a really really dark brown um because you don't want it to be so harsh this is perfect and also i have to include this brush that i have been using to contour it with and i think i put this in my favorites my last video it's this contour brush by sonia kashik so these two combine love it's like the perfect contour it fits directly right in that little spot so I had to include this. Um, this I've had for a while. I don't have a backup of this because I've had this for the longest and I haven't even hit pan yet and I literally do use it every day. Every day I do my makeup. So two things, another thing, two other things that I have to have in my makeup collection is definitely going to be the Ruby Kisses Gel Eyeliner. Now I do have all of the Ruby Kisses Gel Eyeliner, like all the colors, but the only two that I have to go back and repurchase, um, I find myself having to go back and repurchase is the Rich Black and the Dark Brown. This is the dark brown that I just, not recently bought, but I bought a couple months ago and that's how it looks because I use it to do my eyebrows. Um... I love how this holds my eyebrows in place and if you put it lightly it doesn't look as dark as it comes out so it's it's perfect it like holds it sets the eyebrow and holds them in place it lasts all day like I love 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 it and then I notice a difference between me using like a pencil and this like my eyebrows have that really sharp like beat face look so I really really love using this for my eyebrows and that's the Ruby Kisses Gel Eyeliner in dark brown and then um my Ruby Kisses uh, gel eyeliner in rich black. I can't find uh, a gel eyeliner that compares to this. I used to swear by the Wet n Wild gel, gel eyeliner, but I find that it dries up too quickly. I've had this literally for the longest, and I'm just now getting down to like where I see the bottom of the pan. So I'll probably have to go back and buy another one of these soon. And the good thing about this is it only costs four bucks, and it lasts so long. It hasn't dried out. It's very creamy. It's very pigmented. A little bit of this goes a long way. Oh my goodness. I love this. It dries matte. It lasts forever. It lasts like on your eyes good. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't smudge. You can't you can't go wrong with four bucks. And it's in every like local beauty supply in my area. Girl, bye. So yeah, I have to have those. Have to, like, have to. Um so then another thing that I have to include because I did use it like every day this year, probably every day I did my makeup, is the black opal. Like a lot of people always ask me, what is that for your highlight? What is What did you use for under eye, your brow highlight? And all the time it's the black opal heavenly honey, heavenly honey total coverage concealing foundation. And it looks like this. See I got a little dent in it because that's really the only 
thing I use this for is just my brow highlight. And um, because I have some things that I want to try, I probably won't be using this for a little while because I'm trying to do some other looks with some eyeshadows and stuff. So um, you won't be seeing this from me for a while, probably, if I can get out of the habit of putting it under my brows. But yeah, this is the only reason I use this. And I just recently had... Um, I use this as a foundation but in hazelnut well they, it is supposed to be a it's a concealing foundation it's supposed to be they they compared this to max um, full coverage foundation it's only available on the Mac pro site or for pro or whatever it's not sold in stores um, but they compared this to that foundation and I don't have that yet, but um, since it was comparable to this, I just went went ahead and tried it, and I wore it as a foundation, and it was like, wow. And I wore it to work, and people were like compliment complimenting me on it, like left and right, like, oh my god, girl, your foundation, your face, your your makeup, your makeup, and like I didn't want to tell them, like I, I have on black opal, <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I I just wanted to try it out, so. I really liked it. I haven't worn it since then, but um, cause I like I said, I've been at work and I'm I have to wear my Mac foundation. So, um, but yeah, I do like this as a foundation. I really do. So just hint, hint. Like if you guys have this and you're only using it for concealer, try it as a foundation. Find your shade in a foundation and try it, cause you you will like it if you like full coverage. And um, it actually did pretty good. I have oily skin. Um, and it actually did pretty good. I, I used my MAC Oil Control um, Lotion under it. And then I used my Prep and Prime. My MAC Prep and Prime. And then I put this on with a sponge. And it did pretty good. It held up pretty good with my oil. So, yeah. Try that. And I think it costs like 9 bucks at the drugstore. Um, and my shade, if you're close to my skin tone, it is hazelnut it does have a little bit of red tone undertone in it so just apply it lightly um and like you know the light you know the lighter you apply it the more the less red that you'll see in the application so i had to include that in my um yearly favorites so another thing that i have to include and i think it's the last thing you guys oh um it's the iman second to none cream to powder, cream to powder foundation and my color is earth six now if you guys were watching my videos this summer you know that um my local target just um clearing style all of the milani and iman cosmetics to replace them with nyx and which i don't think that that's an even trade because you can get nyx so much cheaper online and sometimes it's hard to find iman products and the fact that now only Walgreens in my area. Only Walgreens sell in my Walgreens and Walmart. The Walmart is not even close to me. And looking at the price that I would pay to drive for gas to get just an my product for Walmart, I wouldn't do that. And then Walgreens is at Walgreens. Iman is way higher than it was at Target. So I didn't think that that was an even trade, but whatever. Um. So yeah, Iman clearing style at, well, at Target and I caught the Iman Cream to Powder Foundation which you know if you watch my channel from way back when I first started I swore by this foundation I loved it I wore it every single day even in the summer love 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 it good for oil control full coverage flawless beat face um so when I saw that it was on clearance and they were like four dollars and this foundation is like seventeen dollars I bought like three of them so yeah um this is one of the three that i um one of the three that i have and being in effect being in the fact that it's so hard for me to get this now um and not pay well it's probably cheaper at walmart but if you look at the gas like i said it's probably cheaper for me to buy it at walgreens but i just refuse to pay 18 or 19 dollars for it when i know that it's 14 dollars or 12 dollars actually 12 dollars at walmart but anyway so now that I know that it's so hard for me, I can't just go to Target and get this. I like savor this. I hold this dear to my heart. And even the dupes that the like the backups that I have, like I won't crack them open because it's so hard for me to get it. And I love this foundation just that much. Like I've totally hit pan on that and I'm not throwing this away. I'm going to scrape every little bit of this foundation out of this pan and use it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely my quick go-to foundation because I don't have to set this with a powder. I can just put it all over my face and go. I definitely can just throw this in my purse, use my sponge, put it all over my face, and it looks like I have on, like, everything. So, 
I love this foundation. That definitely has to be in my favorites because, like, especially in the summertime, I was so busy with the boys with football. I found myself getting up, throwing this on my face, throwing some big glasses on with a popping lip. Deuces. I'm out. So, yeah, that has to be in my favorites. But, yeah, now that I'm rambling, that's it, you guys. I can't include eyeshadows because I have so many eyeshadows and so many palettes that I never use the same palette like all the time so I can't put that in a yearly thing because I switch it up every day I never use the same palette or eyeshadow every day but what I can put in it I'm sorry why did I forget this I use this every day covergirl queen collection ebony bronzer I use this seriously every day like right now I have it all over my lid this is my go to like I was telling you in another video this is my go to when I don't really want to wear eyeshadow but I don't want that greasy lid look I put this on or when I want to wear a really really bright lip and I just want to dull my eyes out I put this on I love this bronzer I haven't even hit pan on it and I've had it for like two years I think yeah two years and it's still popping like I'm probably not even close to him pan. Look at that. I love this stuff. Love. So, yeah. That's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my um, video. Oh, and what I have on my face is... What do I have on? I have on Max BB Cream in Dark Deep. And I set it with the Max Studio Fix Powder in NW58. Um... On my cheeks, I have, I wasn't working today, so I was able to play in some other stuff. Um, on my cheeks, I have Iman's Blush in Posh. Looks like that. I caught this on clearance, too, a long time ago, too. It was like $2. Uh, that's what I have on my cheeks. And then as my highlights, I have Max Gold Deposit. And like I said, on my eyes, I just have the ebony bronzer, so nothing special. On my brows, I have Max Spiked Pencil. As my highlight, I have my Heavenly Honey by Black Opal. And on my lips, I have Flat Out Fabulous by MAC. Finally got it. Yes, yes. Life-giving. Yes. So um, my manager actually held this for me today. So, yeah. Um, Max Flat Out Fabulous, and then I lined it with Max. Ugh, I lined it with Max Night Moth lip pencil. Life given. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching.